Oh my goodness, I look so creepy without the light on. Um, anyways, quick little analysis, synopsis. I don't know. I never know what to call them. I don't like calling these things reviews. But yeah, let's just talk about Castlevania. I'm going to try not to spoil it for you guys. So anyways, I am never usually into TV series whatsoever, but this was only four episodes. Now I'm a little rusty because I just finished watching the last episode yesterday and I think I watched the first three episodes last week. So I'm a little rusty right now. It's only four episodes. Not much. It's like maybe a full length feature film to watch if you kind of think about about it but I'm usually not into TV series especially the most common one that right now is everybody's watching and there's gonna be another common one that everybody's gonna be watching that I'm not into either um, but I'm not gonna name names Here's the Thrones. okay so anyways let me go ahead and talk about this I love this series especially how it like points the fingers at the church at how evil it is oh my goodness i love it for all y'all that know i ain't about the church or the bible or any of that stuff because i think they're evil they're, i think they're more evil than anything else out there so just putting that out there so i loved how they capture that but to let you guys know the video game of castlevania supposedly the story isn't that elaborate how this story is on the Netflix series. It's very good. You're gonna see dead babies. You're gonna see, like people are gonna get killed and there's no mercy by these demons. And the reason being why everybody's getting killed is because Dracula's wife got killed by the townspeople who she defended very much and was trying, you know, was all about the good, loving, everybody should get along bullshit. So, you know, she got burned at the stake because everyone thought she's a witch and the church named her as a witch even though she was a doctor just trying to heal people. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Lady Death of what I just read. So, um, anyway, so that's why he is pissed. He gives everybody a year to change their ways, don't change their ways, and he proceeds to try to like kill the whole entire world with demons and everything. And I'm not gonna lie, there was some stuff I was confused. Like, I don't get still what these people are, but I'm guessing it's part of some myth or whatever, because we need this person, that person, and Jesus Vampire. So, yeah, Vampire Jesus is hot, just to let you know. So all y'all girls, like, who think Twilight and all that is great, oh, please, fuck you. Very brutal, the score is good, the animation is good, the art, everything about it is very well done. I can't say any of anything else good about this show without having to spoil it because there's a lot of, you know, it's only four episodes. So, um, I am pissed, however, because the next season is not coming out supposedly till 2018. This better not be no summer 18 shit. And from what I've heard is like four episodes only. I was like, no, you better give me 24. Don't be giving me no four episodes. Give me 24. Just do not give me this whole bullshit. Summer 2018. No, I need like winter of 2018, so that shit better be out like on New Year's Day. But I can't say more than, you know, you're gonna see bishops getting killed by demons and the demons are awesome, they have no mercy, and then you're gonna see eventually teamwork at the end. So yeah, I mean, like I said, there's still a couple things I'm more confused. I am a little rusty after all because it's been a week since I've seen it, so um... And it is probably one of those animes, at least for me, that I have to watch a couple more times to get. I'm calling it an anime, so whatever. Netflix series, whatever you want to call. But it's definitely something you guys should really watch. It's so good. I, I mean, it's like there's horror and gothiness to it. It's like, I believe when I watched the Horror Guru or Count Dracula, they were describing it as like a 90s, classic 90s kind of anime cartoon and for all y'all that are like worried like to watch this in front of your kids like is there any nudity or anything like that i mean there is violence but so far for nudity I, I mean, i'm not gonna lie i'm glad they kind of kept that shit out it's like i hate it when they put nudity and there's pointless but i heard supposedly a succubus is also in this story well at least in the video game so who knows who knows how this is going to be i'm hoping the succubus is going to be awesome and fucking wicked so never mind if there's like sex in it along it's like tasteful and it meets up to the story and so you know so but if it's just like randomness it's like oh, okay that's kind of fucking annoying so anyways those are my thoughts about castlevania um, yeah, so go see, um, Vampire Jesus, so, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later.